So when working with Photopea, what you can do is you can create a brand new project. I'm just going to go to Photo and I'm going to use A4 for this. So I'm just going to double click. Now I've got my shape here, uh, my environment, so to speak. Now what you can do is you can zoom in uh, as much as you want to the shape using the magnifying glass. So that's up here. All right. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can scroll left and right um, to look at the image that you're creating. Now, because we're working with vectors in this, you'll need to be aware of a number of different tools that we've got available to us. Now, believe it or not, text is also a type of vector tool. So you can select that and then click anywhere on your screen and then it gives you the font. You can change the font. You can change the size. Uh, I'm going to make that. 50 and then you can start typing so I'm going to select the text and I'm just going to say uh, computer science limited okay uh, if you press control and a on your keyboard you can make it bigger or smaller and again with the arrow you can move that about now to use the shapes there are a number of different things you can do there's the rectangle and when you hold that down it gives you the shapes. So I'm going to use an ellipse. You can choose whether you want that ellipse to have a fill color. You can choose whether it has an outline. So I'm going to go for black. And now what you can do is you can draw it freehand. So now if you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, that will give you the actual shape without it actually you know morphing and going all squint so that's one thing you also have if you hold down on that you can do rectangles so if i wanted to use shapes to draw a rectangle uh this time i'm going to fill it with a oh make sure you've deselected your actual shape that you're planning on drawing first so go back to the background I'm going to go to rectangle tool and i'm going to draw what is meant to be a computer screen and i'm going to choose a fill color let's go for a yellow but what you can do is select the shape that you originally done now if you notice here i'll need to move the layer up that's what we learned last lesson i'm going to draw another shape now so i'm going to draw that in the middle so that's my computer screen and i'm going to fill it with black so that's a really bad attempt at drawing a computer screen, but you get the idea. Now, the other thing is you might want to actually use the pen tool. Now, what the pen tool allows you to do is you can just click from point to point and fill it in. So I'm going to press Control Z and undo that. But you can draw like dot to dot and it will fill that in for you. So that's one thing you can do. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, you can also do free pen, which is just where you draw like that. But you also have the curve tool, which is where once you've drawn a point, you can drag it out and curve it however you want. So you can play around with that. So there are a number of vector tools that you can play with there to create a logo. Now, when you are finished with that, you can save that. You can, if you save it, all right. So if you export it though, as an SVG file, that creates it as a vector file. And that means that you can make it bigger or smaller. So in this task today, you are going to make a couple of different logos for different companies using some of these tools. So you can use gradient fill, bucket fill, you can add different text. Uh, so have a go of that today.